guys, it's Mad Dolls, and in today's video we are going to be looking at Cleo and Juice from the Series 2 Monster High Boo Original Cream Reduction Dolls series. <laughs> so before we jump into it, make sure you subscribe and follow me on all my other social medias. Now I've already unboxed Spectra, Abby, and Coolio, so you can go check out those videos here. And in today's video we will be taking a creep peek at Cleo and Deuce. Now, I do have to say, these guys are very, 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 very special to me because these were my second ever Monster High dolls ever, ever, ever. Back when Monster High first came out, I have been collecting since 2010, y'all, the day they came out. Mm. So, <laughs> my first doll was Laguna, who, you know, we've already got that creep reduction, but these were my second dolls. I got them for my eighth birthday in 2010. It was these guys. They meant the world to me. I thought they were the coolest ever. And I never had boy dolls growing up. Like there were, I had like two Kens. <laughs> like they were just rare, like where I lived. So that there was such a cool boy doll. And Cleo is just incredible. Cleo is just so cool and amazing. So without any further witty banter, let's take a look at Cleo and Deuce. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Here are Cleo and Deuce in the box up close and personal. It is just like the original Monster High box and it is so gorgeous. Garrett Sander is just so talented at box and package design. It is insane. So one of the differences of course is that this says Boo Original Creep Reduction and we are missing that little left side that makes it a complete full coffin. So over on the right side we've got a casketball cutout and of course a diamond and it says Monster High Freaky just got fabulous. We have Deuce's Skullet and the Easter Egg mixtape that is labeled July 2010, the It Couple Mix, which is when the original dolls came out back in 2010. And of course, we have Cleo's Skullet, and it says it includes the doll stand and diary. And of course, you know, you want to read our diaries. We've got his set and Perseus, the adorable little pets. And of course, in the right side of the box, we can see Cleo's hairbrush and both of the beautiful, iconic dual stands and... The diaries are behind our beautiful It Couple. I am so excited to open them. They look so good in this box. So on the side of the box, it says Monster High with some green chains. We've got some artwork and the Monster High logo. Now, the logo is different from the Series 1 dolls. And on the top of the box, it says, is there another Haunt It Couple? We don't think so. Of course. Love that. And on the side, we've got some mummy wrap and some green stripes and here is the back of the box it says monster high meet the frightfully fashionable teenage children of the world's most famous monsters and we've got some artwork of the beautiful it couple and now they've gotten rid of most of the bio which makes me very sad it makes me very upset and of course we've got the dinner date cassette tape on the back for 823 and over here is juice's little bio i do miss the big bios but whatever it's fine here is their code in case you want to find them for yourselves. I adore these boxes so much. They are just so breathtaking. I want every doll to look like this. So here they are out of the box and they are just so stunning. I literally cannot. They are breathtaking. So of course, let's start with Miss Cleo Denial. But before we jump into it, who else do you want to see turned into a creep production? I really, really want Nephra, and I think Operetta would be so cool. Like, I really want them so bad. And Claude, oh my gosh, that would eat. But anyways, here is his set. She was actually a gift from Deuce to Cleo. It's his mom's first gray hair, which I think is adorable. I love it. She's got painted gold details and is painted all the way around. So thank you. And here is Perseus. Now this joke absolutely went over my head as a child, but now that I'm an adult, I get it. So he is a little two-tailed rat and he is also full of orange painted details and he has his ears pierced, which is adorable. I love him. He's really freaking cute. I think he was my favorite pet when I was a kid, which is weird and random, but he was. So let's talk. Miss Cleo Denial. She has a long, beautiful saran 
hair, which I appreciate. And it looks like her details are just a little more yellow than the original doll. She also has some brown streaks in her hair more than the original doll, which I love and appreciate. It goes down to about the back of her knee. And we've also got that gorgeous gold tinsel in the hair. Now I know a lot of people hate it. I love it. I think it's gorgeous, and this was the trend back in 2010 when these duels came out. Now, her bangs are like perfect, but there's like no gel in them. So I don't know how they did this, but they need to do this every time. We've also got her gorgeous headband. It is a gold metallic with like tealy blue gems in it, and it's being held in with like a little kajinker on her head. Now, my original Cleo's hair snapped like immediately, so I am definitely going to do everything in my power to make sure this doesn't break. So look at that face. Look at that gorgeous face up. We've got some dark brown eyebrows, some purple eyeshadow, and her eyes are like purple, green, and yellow. And of course, there's her beautiful little blue diamond on her cheek and her lips. We've got an ombre dark red stunning she has her beautiful gold triple layer earrings i don't know what they're supposed to be but they're just pretty and so beyond i colonic and coming down miss cleo denial she has got her little mummy wrap on her neck the little choker and she's also got the matching wrap on her right arm with two pieces hanging down now if cleo does not have at least one piece of bandage on she will turn to dust fun fact love that fun fact and of course she's got her matching mummy wrap like jumpsuit and her gorgeous blue I guess tank top? What would we call this? Cover? I have no idea. The bottom part is sheer and just so beautiful. And she's got her beautiful matching gold bracelets, one on her wrist and one on her upper arm that matches her gold little purse that also has <gasps> painted details. Imagine that. It is so cute. I didn't want to take it off because I still get traumatized whenever I take Monster High hands off. I get terrified they are going to break. And we've got her matching gold triple layer belt and cell phone. Now the cell phone does come out and we've got painted details. I am not taking it out. I don't want it to ever break. I'm probably never going to actually even uh, touch it. Ever. I remember when I was in second grade, the kids at school didn't believe that I had Cleo because I didn't know it came out but whatever. So here are her iconic, beautiful shoes. We've got painted details. We've got black bottoms. We've got gold studs. And now they are a little more yellow than her originals, but I don't even care. I just think she's extraordinary. That face card, she is eating for days. And so now, here is Cleo's hairbrush. I absolutely missed the Monster High hairbrushes. It's been a hot minute since I've actually gotten one. And we've also got Cleo's diary, which is my favorite part. We've got a cassette on the front, a little mummy, and it is just so cute. But the About Me page is gone. And I'm so mad about it. It's not funny. Why? Why did they get rid of it? I don't understand. It makes me so mad. It makes me so upset. Ugh. But whatever. Let's talk about Mr. Deuce Gorgon. <laughs> So Mr. Deuce Gorgon, of course, has his iconic snake mohawk that is an ombre dark green into a very light green. We've even got his molded in scales. Yes, those are scales. Deuce is covered in scales. Look at those widow snakes. They're so cute. I absolutely adore Deuce. And on this side, on the left, he has his iconic silver ear piercing that I just thought was the coolest thing as a kid. And we've got his beautiful red sunglasses. And look at that face. Mine's not wonky. Thank goodness a lot of other people's was pretty wonky. He's got his chain necklace on and and of course, we've got his red tank top that has a cassette and a skull on it. I am so happy to have a new deuce. Mine has been roughed up over the years. We have also got his vest that is gray with white stripes. And here it is all the way around. And of course, more of Deuce's scales. They are an ombre dark green into more of a yellow. So not exactly matching the ones on his head, but it's fine. He's also got a, what would we call this? Glove, fingerless glove. And then a matching black bracelet with a silver skullette. 
And now this juice has wrist articulation. This is huge because the original deuce absolutely did not come with that, so I'm so excited. And of course, we've got his white belt that also has a cassette on it with the silver chain that matches his necklace and his iconic black jeans with the white painted on scales. So cool. And of course, his vans. Absolutely adore. We've got painted silver details, black details. There's molded in studs. They are some of the coolest, most iconic vans in the world, period. And Deuce also comes with a doll stand. Ah, imagine that. Y'all know that's my favorite thing in the entire world because every doll should come with one. And we've also got Mr. Deuce Gorgon's diary. We've got a green cassette. We've got a little snake. The back is blank. And yeah, the last two pages are blank. And then I had to check because I was like, oh my gosh, if the whole thing is blank, I'm going to start screaming and crying. But uh, yeah, bring back that about page. Like, what is going on? So here is the haunt couple of a monster high. So thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe and follow me on all my other social medias. And you guys know, at the end of my videos, I like to rank the dolls on a scale of 1 to 10. 10 out of 10. I mean, these dolls changed my life. <laughs> Made me into who I am today. It's always a 10 out of 10 out of 10. I need more. I want more. This is what I want. This is what I want from Monster High. I could be good with Creep Productions and nothing else. In full honesty. So, period. Period. 10 out of 10. I love Cleo. I love Deuce. I cried harder than I thought I was gonna. <laughs> So, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye! <laughs>